but only wait for a minute. Back with case two of Space Series 2 by Viceroy Cards, sponsored by Blowout Cards. Thank you to them. Okay. And looks like got a few people back already. I know you're all waiting. And I just want to thank Madison again for checking in on FaceTime and being able to discuss the whole uh, sketch world with us. So we start with our case topper right here. So while I'm opening this, if, you, if you're back and ready to answer quickly. So in our first case, we got a uh, four panel sketch case topper. What else can we be uh, possibly expecting out of a case topper? Are they all sketches? Hey, whatever this is, it is inside of cardboard. It did feel a little different. I know. Is this a ticket to get on uh, Elon Musk uh, SpaceX or whatever that thing's called? I know. I'm, that's why I'm not using the X-Acto knife because I don't know what's in here. I'm peeling the tape. Is it going to bite me? Am I going to turn into, you know, is there going to be uh, pod people? I'm going to be Invasion of the Body Snatchers. That's how they get you. So it's sharp. I cut myself. Then they make a clone of me out of my blood. Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is the actual, the for real printing plate. And yes, it is sharp. I can feel it. I can feel the edge on it. I'm going to tape that. Well, you know, I'm not going to tape it back up because I'll scan it or take a picture of it. That is pretty cool. And just so you know, Ryan, it's funny that you said what you did. I do have access to a hundred year old printing press. I don't know if exactly if it's the same thing to be used. I'm not, I'm not a, an artist to know. But my, uh, my daughter, who's 10, she takes an art class uh, at our local art studio. And it's like a non-profit. And uh, 
they have an old printing press there that somebody donated to them that they get to use. So that's the only printing plate in this entire release that you can get. Here's our meteorite. It's funny, we got the meteorite out of the first box both times. I do have to say though, these little things are not staying on though. A lot of them are coming off. See, I have to really think of something to, to nitpick you on. Let's see if we can do this one in less than two hours. We all know what we're looking at. Pluto. There's our stamp card. Well, you know, what's funny is uh, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania really isn't that far from me. I mean, just a few hours. This card is textured. This is neat. Who did this one? Uh, Laura Inglis. Sputnik. And, uh, like I said, the card is textured. Some of the So like this ring right here is raised, this bar right here is raised, you know there's other little pieces so whatever uh, media she used. Where are you at, Nick? <clears throat> Got Titan. Okay, I'm just outside of Atlantic City. Jupiter's Southern Hemisphere. Uh, I believe this is uh, Ashley Villers. Everybody keeps telling me that uh, I need to take the drive out there to go see the Fightins. That they really uh, put on a um, 
there's Titan again they really pull out all the stops for a minor league stadium I keep hearing the commercials for uh, fireworks like every night almost Do you, uh, do you go to the Philly non-sport show down in Allentown? Lynn Workman. Oh. oh, boy. Who's the one that wants all the monkeys? Look at that one. Jupiter was a stamp. Now here's uh, this Yanni guy. Oh, look at this one. I like this one even better. Yeah, Ryan, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Um, the thing is, I mean, that show is supposed to be... This one? I think it's about the same. How long ago was NAR at the... I never saw NAR at the Philly show. I've met uh, everybody else there. Uh, here's a oh I, I'm sorry I forgot to bring that down and in hey when I first saw his work on the 2007 masterpieces my goodness I talked to I probably talked to Axbone for a half an hour there. He seemed like a nice enough guy. It was kind of funny though. He was there with, uh, I mean, I guess it was his wife, I believe. And, you know, all he does is draw large breasted women. Mercury. But uh, to go back to what you said, um, yeah, I honestly, I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be the biggest non-sports show, but I guess, you know, when I very when I first went there, I was, I guess I was trying to, like, compare it to the National, and obviously nothing can compare it to something like that. Patrick Davis, again, with the, the paint, this is fully painted, it's... The te it's all textured. I have no idea what they charge for a table there. I mean, I know. Uh, oh, I think we got another. We got another uh, one of those celestial objects. And this one's definitely not a planet. Might be one of the meteorite ones. No, oh no, it was a planet. Hmm. Didn't look like it.
<clears throat> yeah, being that you're a um, a manufacturer, I don't know what they charge for a table. I was actually thinking about getting a table. I have, but I mean, it's just all junk stuff I want to get rid of. Jupiter, plus, I have so many people. Uh, if, if you look at any of my other breaks, I'll always tell people if they don't want their base cards to let me know, and I give them to a friend of mine who's a camp counselor, and in the summer, he uses them as an incentive for the kids to not act up. Uh... Something with an R, a duto. But even my buddy, you know, I give him so many sets after a while. He's like, I, he goes, I can't, he can't give out as much as I give him. He's got enough you know, non-sport cards to, to last them a couple of summers. So I was thinking of just making the sets up and just trying to sell them super cheap just to get them out of my house. But yeah, you could definitely, you could at least, you could do a promo uh, there. But my honest opinion, I don't know if it would be worth it only because uh, I've got Uranus. <laughs> I don't think it'd be worth it because of Uranus. I don't. Uh, I don't know if it'd be worth it because your what you what you put out is you know a smaller release and you sell out. So unless you plan on expanding, I don't see the benefit versus the cost. You know. But I hope a table is only like a hundred dollars, because otherwise I'm not going to do it. Lee Brown. Now I, I will say that, uh, and I don't know, <clears throat> the Cryptozoic sets up a table, and I think that they. Uh, they do well, and it. They always have a special promo <coughs> that you have to um, you have to buy a box of product at the show, and then you bring it over to their table, and they'll slice open the wrapper and give you the special promo, and that does very well. So, and it helps the dealers move a lot of old product. If you were ever going to do a larger release then, you know, maybe it would be worth it. But most of the people at the show probably already know who you are. I mean, look, it's... I enjoy going. I go just as much just to meet people, you know, twice a year that I, you know, that all they get to see is this, you know, for the, for the year. Venus was our stamp... Postcard. Oh no, I that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't disagree. This is a, a Clara Booch tour. Again, I apologize for butchering everybody's name. Some of the, some of the smaller companies have set up there in the past. Here, we'll do this one. It's popped open.
But if you were there to set up just for promotion, it, it definitely wouldn't be worth it. If you were there to, to actually sell your product, then, uh, you know, yeah, it, you could definitely do it. But like you said, with your margins as small as they are, you'd have to really sell a lot of product to make up the cost of the table. Saturn. Chris Thorne. All right, we got. What is? <laughs> Tardigrades can live in the vacuum of space. Oh, that's why, as soon as I flipped it over, I was like, what the hell? That's another thing for you, Ryan. That's a, that's a positive for your product. Is the... Uh, the lack of limitation. You know, Neptune. For your postcard, you give the artists, you know, room to create... I tell you what, Ryan, where now where are you based out of? Michael Munshaw. This is Mars. Oh, where do you live? <laughs> where Where's your base of operations? I feel like you told me, but I, I don't remember. Venus is your postcard. Okay. Because I can tell you that if a table isn't that expensive... And I actually have enough stuff that I think I would want to set up to try and get rid of all this crap. Because my goal was just, if I could just get rid of this stuff and break even, you know, for whatever the cost of a table is, I would be happy. Because I would go to, I'd go to the show anyway. I would be more than happy to split a table with you if you wanted to, you know, sell extra packs if you had any. Alright, so we got ourselves... We got, oh, focus in there. There we go. It's another Ashley. I mean, I'm only, like I said, I'd only be looking at blowing out base sets of cards, you know, for, for five bucks and then a bunch of just extras that I have. Of just little odds and ends. I don't have. I don't think I have anything that I would that would cost more than twenty or thirty dollars. Okay, 
Mars is your postcard. I mean, at the last show, for anybody that went, I gave them 84. There's a Kakakinakis Achilles sketch card redemption. I gave them something like 85 sets of Ghostbusters cards since it was October that they could give away to kids that came into the show. So I figure uh, I could probably... That's how many cases of those monsters we went through. Well, I, you know, again, your your product is a is a completely different animal. But when when you're talking something like Ghostbusters, where um, there's a figure they could find or 50 you know got to be 8,000 possible sets out there you know if you sold an extra you know 30 40 sets how are you able to see that that quickly Boy, these are tough to get out, Ryan. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Come on. There we go. Amazing, amazing work. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. You know what else too, Ryan, that uh, that you could do is if you ever thought about doing something like that, when they announce, they usually announce the artists that are going to be at the show months in advance. If they have any of the artists, if any of the artists there are ones that worked on, you know, say this, if this would have been your last product you put out, that'd be a good uh, conjunction. Venus is the postcard. How does the draft work for our uh, 
for this break. Bruce Gerlach. I know at the at the Philly show they're usually pretty heavy on garbage pail kids and wacky packages, those artists. Titan is the postcard. Matt Stewart, C. Hadfield, is I able to? I don't know his first name. That that would be really neat. Let me ask you, Josh, since you're an artist in this set. Excuse me. How long does it take you to do a uh, to do one of your sketches? Neptune. Jeff Ward, that's cool, the reflection in the helmet. I always wondered that with some of the artists, like, like we were talking about NAR earlier. Like, how long does it take him to do a sketch card? Now, I can't remember who it was offhand, but I did remember somebody at the Philly show uh, was doing commissions at the show, and they were letting somebody else do some of the coloring. Like, she, she would do the sketch, and then she had somebody next to her that would... I don't know if they did all the coloring or if they just started it for them. Tim Proctor... I can tell you that the, the color is not showing up well on the camera on this one. It is really a bright sketch.
Greetings from Jupiter. This is cool. It's like a meteor shower. Jennifer Allen. Greetings from Mars. That's for sure. That's a pretty cool stamp. I like the color on it. Yeah, I don't know if it was at the last show or the show before. Um, somebody on Blowout had commissioned... Uh, all the artists there and they did a jam wow look at this thing so this is uh let's see dorothea clumpkey roberts and saturn's rings this is uh that um sharon you know again it the camera is not doing it justice it's a very bright card Greetings from Mercury. Who was it that said that they had a, a high pick in uh, in this case that's watching right now? Didn't somebody say they had number two? George Deep. Are you, Brad, are you asking as a question or do I have number one pick? I'm just curious. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, what would we get here? Mars. I was just curious where you guys would kind of value, like, so we have uh, a piece of a meteorite, we have that awesome uh, double-sized sketch, and then you have that huge printing plate. Dan Gorman, sketch of Alan Shepard.
And here's one of the celestial bodies. More than one on this one. Uh, I like this one. That is going to be the one thing that's going to stink about this break is that the actual drafting isn't going to start until probably uh, Wednesday. Greetings from Mercury because we're opening up the two cases tonight. I'm not going to be able to get to the post office until Monday. To get all the bonuses that Ryan's uh, Ryan sent for the break, and then and Tuesday's Christmas. Cool comet. Neil Macohan. Well, that's definitely possible. Well, did you see the number one pick in the first case was sold? Pluto. Oh, wow. April Reina. Now this has a uh, Black hole ASA SSN looks like it says 141. So I guess that's a very specific black hole. And you can see that's a fully painted card. Saturn, greetings from Saturn. Ward Silverman. So, you know, I think something like that, I, I like this. Like a, you know, an alien landscape. That's cool. I'm hoping. <clears throat> now, were there seeds in the packet you got, or were they just the wrappers? Did you, like, grow some uh, Jack and the Beanstalk-looking things? 
with them. Catherine Miller. And that, those gold dots are definitely uh, metallic paint. down and two to go. Oh, forgot to cut the seal. And I'm going to take your advice this time and Place open the bottom. Oh, that was so much easier. Sharon Gothier. Libra, she wrote on here. Oh, yeah, real faint. She's got the constellation lines drawn. This one glows. <clears throat> well, I'm not getting that back in the bubble wrap. So I guess this means we only have one more chance at that seed card, huh? I said that's a box topper, right? Greetings from Titan. I'm pretty sure we pulled one of your sketches in the first case, uh, Alex. John Pleak. So you said the seed card is the rarest of the box toppers, or you said it's more rare than the autographs. Who is the rarest autograph that you got? Because the one the floater, floater pulled, what, Buzz Aldrin, right? Now, I don't know the first thing about the rarity of uh, uh, astronaut autographs, so I couldn't tell you who is the most rare. Greetings from Saturn. Oh, this one's nice. Who do we get here? <coughs> uh, focus.
Nice looking sketch. And there were nine total autographs in the whole product. I believe you had said. Greetings from Mercury. Clinton Yeager. Come on. There we go. Have any of the others been pulled yet besides the one that we pulled and the one that Floater pulled that you've seen? Greetings from Venus. Oh, it's a tough time of year. I mean, with with uh, Christmas just being a few days away. This looks like another, yeah, Don Pettisini. Uh, Gene Krantz, head of Mission Control. <laughs> yeah, Jupiter. I know we, we've pulled this one just a little bit ago, but um, it's a sweet one. Celestial object.
Greetings from Pluto. Tabitha Jensen Padkins. That's right, we pulled one of hers in the last case also. Well, you know what? If you ever do those again, like in uh, Space 3... Uh, you ought to make those discs magnets. That way we could stick them to our, uh, our refrigerators. The whole card. Neptune. Okay, I'll give it a second. There you go. There's our second one from Madison. Now these are heavy. The celestial objects cards are they like a like a plaster? I mean, it's it's definitely not like say styrofoam. I mean, it's it's, it's a heavy card. Greetings from Uranus. Eh. So immature. Andy Bone. Okay, painted wood. Yeah, there's gonna say there's definite, you know, weight to it. <laughs> Greetings from Mars.
Kristen Allen. <laughs> Laura Martin. Neptune. Greetings from Neptune. So when you were talking about um, licensing and how things expire after a while, what what is the time frame? I mean, you said if Steamboat Willie is getting close to expiring, then Excuse me. There's uh, mayonnaise and bread again. Like, what is that time frame? Uh, excuse me. from Saturn that is correct manis and bread uh, Ryan you had said before because we had pulled one of his sketches before uh, who that is it's Jason somebody Jason Phillips, maybe? Oh, there you go. Laura Atkinson. I just remembered a couple years ago, um, a comic book company had put out a set, uh, a, a couple of books, and it was like all the old time radio show, uh, like The Shadow and uh, The Phantom and stuff like that. I didn't know, uh, like, where that kind of thing. Since when they first came out, they it's got to be from the 40s. Oh, we did not get a seed packet. 
but we did get an autograph in our last box. Cut the, the soft sleeve a little bit. That is a fancy signature. Welcome aboard, Jamie. We, uh, we did pull one of your sketches in the first uh, in the first case I believe it was so now that we're on the last box I had not opened one of these yet to show off these cards so these are all it's a metallic print. So these are all really neat. It's like all like landscape and asteroids. Uh, I'll put it back in the bag later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember which one it was exactly. Now I gotta go buy my own seed packet. Welcome to Neptune. Yeah, if uh, and if you don't feel like watching, um, I'll scan. I'll be scanning every single sketch. That is cool. Who is this? Oh, he signed it upside down. John Mangini. So you're saying I should have I should have had you send me the cases directly, and then we could have gotten the uh, the seed packet. Uranus. Alex Patrick Merrill. Hey, look at that. Painted card. <clears throat> so 
So I think everybody that has been on uh, on the chat tonight, we've pulled sketches from them. Two from Madison, two from Josh, two from Alex, one from Jocelyn who just came on. Greetings from Mars. Here's this uh, <coughs> Rusty, was it? Um, I know it says Rust. We got Leica, first living thing in space. Yeah, but Nick, you did you designed half of this stuff, right? So technically we've been pulling your your cards all the time. Greetings from Jupiter. Jamie Jocelyn. There we go. Greetings from Saturn. Cool. We got here Buckshot. different artists are in this set, Ryan? And I guess with uh, 48 different sketches in each case, getting a lot of the, uh, you know, we'll get a lot of the same people in each case. Venus. Emma Burgess.
Greetings from Pluto. I don't know if I missed it in the chat, Ryan, but did you, uh, or did anybody answer my question about the licensing with how long? Jason Brower, uh, Tucson? I don't think we had a Jason Brower in the first case. Because <clears throat> I was thinking, like, uh, Brygen, for instance, when they were around, they weren't a, uh, a super big company. And uh, I know they had done Dexter, but before that they did uh, Wizard of Oz, they did Three Stooges. But then they would do one that was like movie posters. Uh, I didn't know if that was something that there was a, a license to or not. Greetings from Titan. Marsha Parkins. Very nicely done sketch. Greetings from Uranus. That's never not funny. I'm sorry. Some more glitter. I know who this one is. Jen DePaolo. Apologize for the pronunciation of your name. Glitter on the burst. So it really pops. Three more to go and we're done. We knocked uh, half an hour off of the time on this one. Alright, let's take guesses. Our last three sketches. Who are they going to be by? Greetings from Titan. We did not have this guy in the first case. Brad Utterstrom.
Why do we got three discs on this one? Greetings from Mercury. Fred Gorham, Gorham. There we go. Greetings from Mars. All right, last sketch Nebula, planet, person, animal. What do you think? Brent Westbrook and I think it's actually this way just looking at the where the uh, dish is I'm thinking that it's it's actually supposed to be we'll say like this yeah I was wrong it's a satellite Excuse me, and that does it. Okay, let's give a quick recap. That's two cases of space. It's a great product, Ryan. You should be very proud of yourself. Sketches are crazy. Oh, excuse me, sketches are great, postcards are neat, box toppers are nice, we uh, got a lot of good stuff, um, plenty of good artists, the boxes that they come in are cool, you uh, really thought of it all, down to even putting a little security seal on the, uh, on the box, <coughs> excuse me, so, I will um, put this video up now and then uh, in the morning I will start scanning all the sketches and uh, the uh, autographs and whatnot. And then, uh, like I said, the all the bonuses that Ryan sent us, um, they got held up in the mail. I will pick them up Monday because the post office is actually three doors down from my office. Uh, for my work and I won't be able to video at my office but I'm just gonna take pictures of everything and upload the pictures that way they'll be there because if I try and do it Monday night Christmas Eve my wife will kill me <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and I mean that literally. So, uh, thanks again. I will, like I said, get everything scanned in the morning. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next break. Because it is late and I want to go to bed.